Okay, so this is a short video on how to get the most from your export from the student performance overview and we've made some updates and it's really to take you through that. So I'm going to access the student performance overview by clicking on student analysis here. This takes me to my overview for all of my students and this is a monitoring point. Uh, you can do it for exams, it's the same functionality. Uh, there are some benefits to doing it from the monitoring point uh, point of view because you don't have a monitoring point PDF. So a couple of buttons up here, um, export to PDF, export to Excel. It's the Excel one that you want and that brings you up uh, this tab which allows you to change the file name uh, if you want to save it and look at it again. It's a, a later stage. I've done this already so let me show you what you get. So this is the instruction tab and for those of you who haven't used the SPO export before, just gives you a feel for the different uh, things that you've got in this report and also down here the colours and what they mean. So the first tab for data is this one, which looks at the percentage of uh, target, uh, students hitting their targets, that's their MEGs, um, and you can see the different categories there. But these two uh, final tabs are the key ones. So this first report tab is really what you get from a PDF. Uh, it's at the back of your PDF for exam uh, reports. Um, and hence the reason for me saying that if it's a monitoring point, then it's quite an important little um, uh, export. So you've got, for each student, you've got um, their subjects, and this is a year 13, so I've got three subjects. You've got the grade that they achieved in this grade point. If that's a fine grade, it will come out as a fine grade. You've got their MEG, and then you've got a personalised target. Now, you that's optional, the personalised target. If you haven't added those to connect data, then you might want to consider adding them, or um, that will just be blank. Now, the, the colours are, are reading from this grade tab, so the grade tab is obviously looking at how that uh, corresponds to the MEG. So you can see here that this student here is on target, so it's red. This student's the lower of uh, two splits, uh, so it's pink. Then you've got one below, and then the student here's two or more below target. You can filter on this then. I've got a filter on it, um, and you can filter um, various uh, options uh, on this um, these columns. The final tab is the grid format. Now, this is really helpful, um, I think, if you're using SIMS particularly because this is the way that you can get SIMS to communicate with, um, with Connect Data. So um, these are uh, column titles are your subjects this time, and the grades are still your grades that you've put in for that grade point, and the colours, again, will indicate how close to that meg they are and there's a little key up here so you can quickly see that in business studies and i can filter by business studies um, and i can take out all my blanks and i can just see my uh, business studies there uh, and i can see who's on target and who's not on target um, but again this is this is a key way of communicating with sims um, if you uh, have sims and you're using it to uh, in import and export uh, by grid format. So I hope those are helpful updates for you um, and thanks very much for watching this short video.